kids in there? So you mean to tell me you expect the students to go back to school after this happened? Don't you feel how everybody's feeling? Today, KCPS Superintendent Dr. Mark Bedell told us he has, quote, no reservations about that decision and explain why. We needed to make sure that the social and emotional needs of our kids were going to be met and that would not happen with them being at home alone um, or being at home with even family members that may not have that trauma-informed background of training. Uh, so we knew that we had to have school. There, that, that, that wasn't even uh, a thought. We sent kids home and staff home the day of. Um, but, but then that gave us an opportunity to make sure that our plans with support were solidified and in place by the time they arrived yesterday morning. The superintendent says this is the lowest point of his career and the first time, for the first time, we're hearing from Dr. Bedell since this killing. KSHB 41 reporter Charlie Keegan talked one-on-one -on -one with Dr. Bedell today. Charlie, what else did he have to say? Well, I asked him about what his biggest questions are right now, Dia, and Dr. Mark Bedell told me that he's wondering how did we get here and how do we stop it. During his first sit-down interview of the week here at the Board of Education building, Dr. Bedell actually walked me through how he's going to get those answers. Internally, we have to take a deep look at our system as a whole. To answer his first question of how we got here, Kansas City Public School Superintendent Dr. Mark Bedell told me he's doing an internal investigation of everything leading up to Tuesday's stabbing in a bathroom at Northeast Middle School. Ultimately, the investigation will clearly tell us what happened. Questions linger about the effectiveness of metal detectors that day, where the knife used in Tuesday's attack came from, and whether there were any warning signs. Fidel promises transparency throughout the process. We'll make sure that the media, the community, families, you know, have a full understanding of what happened. To answer his second question, how do we stop this, Fidel uses two words. Compassion and love is needed across this city. And, but you think of uh, school, you think of science and math and history. Compassion and love isn't necessarily in the curriculum for a lot of places. How do you approach that? Well, I think in our school district, that has been a focus. Before the school year, the district redesigned its code of conduct. Instead of focusing on punishing students, schools prioritize intervening ahead of time. A grant in 2020 allowed the district to bring in more clinicians to help students with their emotional and mental health. Bedell admitted the pandemic slowed down the pace he wanted to implement some of these changes, but he falls back on compassion and love being staples of his classrooms. And I just want this community to know that although it may not be a part of the curriculum, um, when you think about math, reading, and science, we try to embed it in everything that we do in terms of how we work to develop students socially and emotionally. And Dr. Burdell told me he's feeling some of that compassion and love from the community. School districts like North Kansas City Center have all reached out this week. He's also heard from businesses trying to lend some support, community partners also doing what they can. He says it really feels like the city's wrapping its arms around the district and the district's families. In Kansas City, I'm Charlie Keegan, KSHB 41 News.